we got an unboxing. Um, saw a ridiculously good deal. Could not pass it up. And I will see just how it feels. Um, this battle song is one that I'm sure some of you have heard buzz from. And that's because it is, drum roll please. I always ask like, you don't know what the battle song is because I haven't opened the box yet, but you've clicked the video with the title on it. And I don't know why I always act like it's a secret. Ooh, wow, big foam. And man, look at that BB bar fly. Uh, this is a sturdy taco case. In here we have, all right. This is the Superfly from BB Barfly. Uh, in here is also a sticker, a airport tag, uh, a loose ass bushing. What the fuck? Hold on. I'm like, okay. Uh, let me get that bushing in the bag real quick because I don't want to lose that. Another loose ass bushing. Okay. Um, mildly concerned. Alex, I sure hope that there are bushings in my in my Superfly. And there's also a, uh, let's see, two bags of spare hardware. Very nice. One of which also has a driver. Uh, and last but not least, a keychain uh, pry bar bottle opener thingy. Um, I hear these are actually pretty good. I don't know. I don't keep them. I mean, it's not that I don't keep them. I just don't use them. All right, let me put the... Uh, let me put these hardware things back. I also have my Barracuda out here to compare. Okay, the first thing I noticed immediately, jimping. Quite noticeable jimping. Feels pretty deep, and it goes pretty high up. We also have zippy inlays inside both handles. Um, the blade itself is a bit beat. Uh, that's not a secret. That was disclosed to me ahead of time. Um, right, come on. So yeah, you can see how it's been beat. But the handles, the handles actually look pretty solid. It's the blade that is like, fucked up. Okay, so this is handle bias compared to the Barracuda. Let me, let me weigh these both. The Barracuda is 3.92 ounces. And the Superfly, 4.44. So it's about half an ounce heavier. And I feel it definitely in the, uh, I feel it definitely in the handle. Sorry, let me also just clean this out a little bit. That's really filthy. And screw down these. I like can't find my fucking T10 Torx bit. So I'm just using my glider bit holder to, okay, just give a little bit of a torque, some torque, and make sure that there's nothing loose, because I felt like I felt some rattle, that's okay, I knew that this was a beater, uh, but it looked good for a beater, let's see, and yeah, the schmutz and the pivots, uh, you also have the BB bar fly logo, up top here on the Zen nipple. Uh, it's not focusing, but trust me, it's the BB Barfly logo. There we go. Uh, that doesn't have it there. It's actually on. Interesting, the Barracuda has it uh, up here. Uh, it has the name of the Barracuda. The Superfly has 410 stainless steel uh, at the top part here. Um, and the name Superfly. BB Superfly. And it's got the same. It's got the talon blade shape. This is the Barracuda blade shape. This is just like the Firefly Talon series. Let's check this out. Oopsies. This feels pretty nice. Let me compare. So the Barracuda is also a uh, channel design and the Superfly is sandwich. And it has these like barrel spacers, um, interestingly enough, like these 
brass barrel spacers. Wow, this webcam is not cooperating with me. Hello, there we go. Um, I don't know if the inlays affect the sound. I will later do a, a follow-up video. Ugh, I've had some wrist pains, but this feels pretty good. Oops. I'm like expecting it to feel like the Barracuda, and it doesn't. It's similar in dimensions, but just different weight. Right now, you can get a Barracuda on sale for like, I think, 30-ish bucks. Or sorry, you can get a, a Barfly, I think, for a Superfly on sale for like 30-ish bucks. It's a little handle bias, but I'm getting used to fanning it. And it feels, it fans pretty cleanly. It just doesn't feel super sticky when I do rollovers. But um, I'm sure, like, I feel like everyone in the community loves BB Barfly as a maker. Uh, they're Canadian, he's Canadian. I don't know if there's more than one person. Um, and seems really cool, very unique design and has started to adapt to more conventional asks, such as jimping, uh, and originally came a long way from the, the OG, um, which is like straight up just like the traditional like circle bottle opener that you like thunk that way. Um, and has then added, honestly, legitimately very good bottle openers um, and fun flippers. People will say they're not competitive, and honestly, I like. I guess I agree. I'm not a competitive flipper myself. I find that uh, right now with the Superfly, I'm having some mild issues with like consistency. But this is also just a first impression, and I don't know. I'm like getting thrown off a little bit here and there, like. I'm trying to think. There's a specific trick. Like when I go to the extended full twirl, that works cleanly. And then it's the thumb rollover that I find that I have some hard time consistently doing. The the eight B, the BT eight B doesn't feel very clean, and helixes don't feel very clean. And I'm not sure why. Actually, let me compare heights. The barfly, the, sorry, the superfly is a little shorter than the barracuda. The handles, I guess it's in the blade. The blade is a little shorter. Handle gap is pretty close. How's the grip? Honestly, pretty comfortable. Despite having these deep recesses, I don't feel, I don't really feel uncomfortable holding it there. It doesn't feel the most comfortable. Uh, that was my problem with the Medusa. Up here though, uh, it's totally fine. The jimping feels very nice. Whoops, it fell out of my fingers. But the jimping does feel quite nice. And I, I would say that it's deep enough. It's just, it's got enough weight to it that it can fly out of your fingers. Hmm. That felt pretty good. Aerials feel great. While I'm having a hard time with BT-8Bs and Helixes, and other basic rollover stuff, actually, let me just try the standard thumb rollover. Actually, that felt pretty good. It felt, no, there's there's something quite, hold on. I feel like there's a little bit of rattle still. Maybe it's in the, might be in the spacers. There's actually like two sets of spacers, I realize. There's a screw pivot set and the brass set. I'm like, I feel like I'm hearing some rattle and I'm not sure from which I might have. Very nice. Shit. Yeah, I don't know what is fucking me up. But that's... This, the fact that I'm fucking up is not to say that I don't like this. It it feels like a Barfly product. It's just heftier. It's got more weight to it. It's titanium. It's the first and I believe only 
titanium battle song so far on the market. Uh, and you can choose from three different blades. This being kind of the shape that I would choose. Oh my god, I almost hit my trombone! My trombone is really expensive. And just off camera. Hmm. Yeah, so ladders feel pretty decent. And I can't quite put my finger on why rollovers feel a little strange. But it's a unique feeling battle song. And it feels different from the Barracuda. Actually, let me... Uh, you know what? Let me, let me just do my basic loop trick that I like to loop. Yeah, the Helix also doesn't really stick with Barracuda. And the jimping feels a lot better and deeper on the Superfly than it does on the Barracuda. And the Barracuda is aluminum. However, it is half an ounce lighter, so it doesn't feel um, terrible. Yeah, I guess it's maybe a barfly thing. That's, ow! Ah, on my toes. So, I'm having a hard time doing a BT-8B into uh, Helix on the Barracuda as well. And this is like my third ever battle song. So it's not a matter of time and how much time I flip this. Since I've owned this, this is now the battle song that I own the longest. Because uh, the two I've owned before, the Vulp and the Mako, I don't have anymore. So yeah, it's just that there is ass weight. There's definitely ass weight, but maybe it's the blade weight. Not sure, but the, there's enough of blade weight that it's not terribly handle biased. It's like a little handle biased. A little bit of handle biases is not bad at all. I think there's a high likelihood I'm going to keep this. I'm also eventually going to pop out these inserts. Actually, maybe I could pop them out now. I can just pop it out a pen. There with the... Yeah. All right. Oops, that's one insert popped out. Let me pop out the other three real quick, and then I'll see if that affects the weight. Someone on Main Street's mad. That's three, and then last. Yeah, I, so I'm, I'm just poking it through here, and then letting it fall out of the sandwich. Like so. Alright. This doesn't affect weight at all. I don't feel a single difference. I think it's purely cosmetic, and frankly, it looks better with the inserts in than it does without. And I think in order to put it back in, I have to, let's see. I think in order to put it back in, I think I have to disassemble it. Oh well, it had, I, had to, I had to figure it out anyways at some point. Oh, I should also check it out with oil real quick. No, I'll do that later. I'll do that for the second time after I reassemble it. Maybe I can try and do it now. But as of now, I'm going to start to wind down this video. Uh, if you liked this video, check out the rest of my channel. I have a video on the Barracuda, and uh, I do daily uploads. So I would appreciate a like and subscribe on the video. If you have a Superfly as well, let me know your thoughts. What blade shape do you have? Do you have the Talon style blade? Do you have the the train? Uh, honestly, also there's a trainer blade. I don't know why people would get the trainer blade because BB Barfly makes bottle openers and then you get the one that's actively not a bottle opener. That feels kind of silly in my opinion. I don't know. Uh, different strokes for different folks, I guess. But anyways, like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the copy in my description for more. Uh, for, for helping me support the channel because uh, 
you know, a little bit of money goes a long way. And, you know, I bought this on a whim. And that's some money. Um, do, do, will, will I sell the Barracuda to, to help pay for the Superfly? I'm not sure. I like the Barracuda's color. And I do like the Barracuda. And it does flip differently. I don't know. We'll see. So, with that, ta-ta for now. And happy flipping.